Use them in the log. Hi guys. It is another cold, rainy, miserable night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on uh here on uh where are we? We are at a Sunday night. A Sunday night that would be November 27th, uh, 2022. And uh, <clears throat> so as you probably know, I have been over there at the, uh, hanging out at this new website that I have found and joined called medium.com. And I have to say, I have been sucked down the rabbit hole of medium.com and you know learning all of these new voices never heard of I, I mean there's thousands and thousands of us doomers out there uh, we are a bigger force than I thought I honestly did not I, I honestly did not realize how uh, the collapsitarians were gaining strength least over here in uh, the Netherlands of medium.com so I have been you know pawing through good lord how many uh, articles and writers have I gone through so anyway I have stumbled on to this fellow named Paz Arhenio P-A-S Paz Arhenio, uh, who describes himself <clears throat> IT and ICS professional, otherwise known as a programmer. My heroes include Carl Sagan, George Carlin, and Edmund Muskie. I, I don't. <laughs> how did Edmund Muskie uh, make the list of Carl Sagan and George Carlin? Um, uh, so since I am a big fan of Carl Sagan and George Carlin, uh, I, I would love to think I am kind of a cross between Carl Sagan and George Carlin in my more, uh, narcissistic moment. So anyway, this fellow, Paz Arhenio, seemed like he and I were on the same, wave, same wavelength, so I noticed that uh, he has an article, a very short article, uh, from earlier this year, titled, The Most Informative YouTube Channel You Have Probably Never Watched. The Most Informative YouTube Channel. I said, okay. Some guy who, uh, whose heroes include Carl Sagan and George Carlin. Uh, what would Paz call the most informative YouTube channel you have probably never watched? So I click on it, and here's what I find. You may never have heard of Collapse Chronicles. Hmm. Have I ever heard of Collapse Chronicles? On this channel, Sam Mitchell reads articles about the environment from a wide variety of sources. He is always accompanied by his faithful, his faithful, faithful, his faithful doomer dog, Sacho Panza. He intersperses commentary with terms like hopium and apocaloptimism in genial, if cynical, tirades against greenwashing. Somehow, Sam's voice, Sam's voice, I have, I have, my voice, I have been called, my voice, good Lord, I have been uh, called grating, I have been called sandpaper, I have been called fingernails on a blackboard. Uh, I have, my voice has been described obviously as a hick, as a redneck, 
as uh, just impossible to listen to. You know, that voice. <clears throat> Somehow, Sam's voice is soothing, entertaining, and humorous despite the darkness of the future he predicts. He is particularly focused on overpopulation, breeders, and the lack of coverage on, of that topic. And though his viewership is minuscule, <laughs> thanks dude, and though his viewership is minuscule compared to popular channels, he has a dedicated core of followers. His viewers are informed and opinionated. This makes for lively discussion. He readily references viewer names and comments. They seem to feed him articles. He curates them. He may read only parts of some articles with the disclaimer that you get the idea. You may think climate change, global warming, global heating is the main topic. You would not be wrong, but Sam explores many other topics such as threatened and extinguished species, pollution, politics, indigenous societies. That was a very polite way of saying my discussion of indigenous societies. But his primary target and his most valuable insights are directed at media reports, studies, and conferences, including the COP meetings. And nowhere have I found the sheer honesty and unvarnished truth Sam puts in front of me. It is like listening to a wise, garrulous, somewhat cantankerous tribal elder, yes, comments such as, the public understands almost none of this, too busy keeping up with the Kardashians, are typical to add to the charm. So do regular commenters such as Book Hermit. <laughs> yes, so do regular commenters such as Book Hermit, Environmental Coffee House, and Aaron B., who have their own interesting accounts. These folks have carved out their own space and opinions within Collapse Chronicles, they can be counted on to wage arguments characteristic and distinct. Collapse Chronicles broadcasts from various locations in upstate New York, Florida, and Texas. The New York location doubles as an Airbnb and organic farm. Huh. I was unaware that this was an organic farm. Anyway, so you could even visit Sam. Yes, I guarantee you will find a refreshingly honest and atypical voice free of sound bites and divorced from the assumptions that form the bubble in which most of us exist. It may be our best strategy for maintaining our sanity through current pandemic, mm, through current pandemic and future trials and tribulations we most certainly face. There you go, 53. 53 thumbs up, and I do appreciate it, brother. Brother Paws, never heard of the guy, uh, but anyway, 
So uh, go check out, since he's plugging me, go check out Paz Argenio, A-R-G-E-N-I-O, over there at medium.com and the thousands of others. And so after that pleasant, uh, <clears throat> that pleasant interlude about my soothing voice, yes, I'm going to get back to my uh, doomer porn <clears throat> at medium.com while I still can. Bye, guys. Man, I had to turn off the...